Utilizing Google Ads, ad scheduling properly can really improve the efficiency of your ads and save you a lot of money, we'll call it. <laughs> Basically make it more profitable when you're running ads, right? Which everybody loves. So let's talk about how to set ad schedules, how ad scheduling works, and all that good stuff. Now, when you're in your Google Ads account, you're going to find your campaigns. There's some different versions of Google Ads the you know, user interface and everything is changing. So you may need to select from up here or over from the side, but you can select the campaign. And then from the left, you also might need to click this show more option. When you do that, you should see ad schedule here. And you can start to look at a breakdown of what is going on with the ads during specific schedules. Now, this only really gives us I don't know what's happening throughout the entire day. If you go back and look at if you select a campaign and go to the overview, you will then see a pane that looks like this usually where you have some different ways of viewing this. You can look at the day and you can change what you're viewing here. So by default, I think it's on impressions. Really not all that helpful usually. I like to look at the cost per conversion. So we can see that on Sunday, it's costing us about 50% more, 60% more than it is on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. It's also not so good on Wednesday for whatever reason, but Sunday kind of stands out. You know, Sunday might be a day that's pretty common for performance of ads to be different Saturday, Sunday, the weekend in general. So we may decide, uh, let's go and shut the ads off on Sunday so we can edit these and the schedule pops up here. You can see it's set to all days here to here. We can set it to Monday to Friday and then add in Saturday, which would then delete Sunday. Of course, we need to change the times here and everything. Uh, but it's pretty easy to change this schedule. Then when you click save, you'll see an update here. You'll see exactly how it looks on the right side. And between this view where you're able to switch the measurement unit here as well as this view, you can start to break down exactly what is uh, what times and days are performing best for you. So we can switch over to hour. This will also give us a breakdown of our cost per conversion on an hourly basis. And it looks like the beginning of the day is not the greatest. Maybe we would get rid of Saturday or Sunday. So have it run Monday through through Saturday. And then have it not run until maybe 11 a.m. Have it run until 7 p.m. See what that looks like. And, you know, after you make some adjustments to your ad schedule over here, you'll be able to check and see how that's changing the performance of your campaigns. Another thing to note here, I typically like to look at all time when I'm looking at this data. The more data you have, the better typically for something like demographics or ad schedules. Uh, it's really the, the more the merrier I've found. So. You can look at all the time, you know, the, the entire time you've been running ads and see what's performing best. Use that data to optimize the scheduling. This is kind of color coding it, so it's making the more expensive days darker. Right? And we can also add some adjustments here too. So if we feel like, let's go to conversions. Looks like maybe... Thursday and Friday are really good. Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday are really good days for us. So we could come over here to Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And we could change the bid adjustment. Increase it by whatever we want, say 20%. Click Apply. And when we apply that, it's going to allow Google to spend a little bit more on, on the ads when it's in auction and it's bidding for a click on a term, it's going to be able to bid higher on those days, which might get us even more leads, but not increase the conversion costs all that much. So you can really start to fine tune these if you have enough data 
You probably want like 100 clicks on each day at least somewhere in there. This probably looks good between 120 and 80, somewhere in there. Minimum. I mean, the more if you have a lot more than that, that's better. But from there, you can tweak things, come back, analyze, see how it's changing. And over time, you should be able to get this ad schedule dialed in to where you're not running your ads and getting clicks during times and days when people do not turn into leads or sales for your company. And that's the ultimate goal. You don't want to be wasting your budget on ads if they're not producing results for you. <laughs> Basically ads 101. So anyways, I hope that was helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of how ad scheduling works or anything of that nature, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google Ads for different companies and different industries, and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue, like this one here. And really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.